everybody. I am Bebo, and I am here with Phil Reed at Gen Con at the Steve Jackson booth. And we are looking at the best thing in the whole entire world, dice. Yes, we love dice. We've made millions of dice over the years between zombie dice and Munchkin and Illuminati. We just make dice, dice, dice. And over the last couple of years, we've said, you know what? Let's just make more dice. Is this the reason you get to go visit China? Uh, so... It is a large part of the reason because one of the coolest things when you go to the factory in China is going into the tooling department where they make dice because you will see dice everywhere of all different colors and shapes and designs. And I'm like, what is this die? What is this die? What is this die? To the point I've actually, because I can't take photos of things that aren't ours, I've like sketched out on the iPad while I'm like walking through, oh, that design's awesome. And then a year later, I find the product where the die is at and I buy it because I have to get that die. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's awesome. Here, I want to start with uh, one of my favorite ones, which are these bullet dice designed specifically for killing zombies. Yes. These dice are a double injection molded process. So instead of just one metal tool where they shoot plastic in, this is two separate ones. They shoot the core section here. Ooh. This silvery bit goes all the way down and comes at the bottom. So once that's uh, done and solidified, they load those into another mold and they shoot the next one, which is this pearlized gold. And after that, everything fuses. It's one piece now. And they ink all the pips. And when it's all said and done, you've got some these bullet dice. And Steve's designed a game that uses a dozen of these bullet dice. Z-Shot will be out in September, October time frame, just in time for the Halloween. Mm -hmm. And you'll have a dozen of these dice packed in the game. The bullet dice set is $9.95 for six, or the Z-Shot game with the cup and the rules and the pad and 12 dice is $19.95. Awesome. So it's like buying two sets of bullet dice and getting a free game. It's gorgeous, and I absolutely love them. So if you need a, a really good D6 to fight zombies, yes. this is your die. And the great thing about these ones is they don't roll off the table because they've got this hex at the bottom of them. They're always going to stop really nicely. Yeah, the way they're packaged, you can't see the little hex base. And the first thing everybody says is, well, what stops them from rolling? And it's the hex design on the base that stops it. And that was not my best roll of the day. Uh, no, it was not. But I rolled two sixes, so don't worry. All I right. made up for it. <laughs> All right. And next up, we've got Halloween dice. Yes. When are these going to be out? These are out right now. We're selling them here at Gen Con. They're in stores next week. They are custom D6, mm -hmm. faces one through six. And then there's a black die with glow in the dark ink. Glow in the dark? What? Glow in the dark. Can I pull these out real quick? You may absolutely pull awesome. those out and take those home with you. Thank you. I like glow in the dark dice. We just found out that they even existed this week. I didn't know uh -oh. that glow in the dark dice were a thing everything needs to glow in the dark i love these yeah these were designed by alex fernandez he's been with the company since 99 so he's old like me and he's the artist for zombie dice and cthulhu dice and we said make us jack-o-lantern dice and he designed all of these just cute little pumpkin headed dice they're so cute and they're big they're 19 millimeters so mm -hmm. they're larger like these are a standard 16 millimeter die mm -hmm. and you can see the difference in size yeah they're adorable and also cat dice okay first off <laughs> like you know how much i love toe beans it's one of my many very serious passions in life uh and so these cat dice are by katie cook right katie cook designed the dice and in addition to the dice Katie Cook designed artwork for three journals and a dice bag. And in January, we are shipping the Dungeon Survival Pack Kitten Adventurers. That is three dice, the dice bag, which is a satin lined Ooh. dice bag. It's all double stitched. We heard from retailers and gamers who wanted high quality dice bags in stores because they didn't like the cheap ones they were getting. Mm -hmm. So we're like, all right. And Katie Cook did all of the artwork for the project. And it's as if it's fantasy RPG adventurers, but they're kitties. They're very cute. Yes. And Katie Cook is amazing. I love her work so much. Yeah, that is just the cutest. And we will be doing more with that with her. Oh, good. Yeah, we have ideas for a kitten adventurer's GM screen. 
that is all new Katie Cook Dungeon Kitties adventuring and killing monsters art on one side, and the other side is tables for the GM, and it's systemless, you can use it for any game, so there's like a traps table where like there's a laser pointer trap, and there's a bug dispenser trap, and then there's a treasures table that is like, you get a bedazzled collar. Uh So it's just very light, silly, and we're just trying to have as much fun as possible with Katie because she's got time to do these great illustrations for us. I think you might also need to make an RPG. Might happen. Someday. It could. My fingers are crossed. <laughs> but while we're at it, let's look at the other dice bags because these are really nice. I, like you, I didn't even know that these had the satin inside. So the satin inside came about because of gamers and retailers telling us they wanted to be able to buy really good dice bags that weren't hard to find or limited runs. So we're doing this new series of dice bags. The first two will be available in September. They're uh, blister packed. Every dice bag we're publishing, since we're worried about people not having enough dice, comes with one, two, or three dice. It just depends on the design. Uh, For example, you have over there an adorable purple bag that is by Lar D'Souza. It's the Dice Dragon. So cute. And the Dice Dragon bag comes with this cute little purple and pink dragon die and skull die. So cute. And we were worried. Um, we keep running into gamers who are like, we don't have enough dice. So we're like, well, if we give you a bag, you're going to have to get some dice to get your collection started. Right. And these dice bags hold over 100 dice. And we know that because we loaded it. Right. Now, that's not 100 of the biggest, beefiest dice, but like normal 16 millimeter dice, mm-hmm. polyhedral dice, D20s, D12s, and they fit in there perfectly. We also, they're not bags, but we did take this artwork and this artwork and created two shirts that what? are available on our website because so many people said, Oh, it's really cute to have it when we should send you home with a shirt. Yeah, I need one of these shirts. It's adorable. I am also a dice hoarder, (laughs) so it makes sense. I'm actually this dragon. Its name is Bebo. I get that. (laughs) Awesome. Well, let's look at the other three that we've got here. This one's generic fantasy. But when I first saw this, I asked, is this fantasy trip? Because it it reminds me. Yes, it's uh, old school role playing and Mm -hmm. everybody needs more skeletons. It also comes with a die because that's what we do. Yeah. And this one will ship in September. Fantastic. And we also have a Cthulhu-themed bag, which will be available in November. Cthulhu Illuminati theme. We kind of sneak in the Illuminati. We know what we're doing. I mean... And then we have a... It's there. It's subtle, but yes. It's good. I like it. So this is, again, Alex Fernandez, who designed the Halloween dice. This is his artwork. And the Illuminati bag is also Alex's artwork. I have been looking at this artwork for a very, very long time. Um, I don't know if I've ever... I've, I've told you this in person, but when I was a little kid, I think I was about seven, your website was one of the first things that I came across because I was, like, looking up some Illuminati thing. Okay. And I found your card game. And I was, like, on dial-up. I was, like, seven years old. I know I'm dating myself. Uh, and i that's how I like randomly came across your website. And I knew about the Illuminati card game. Right. Before I ever knew that I would be working with Steve Jackson Games like 10, 20 years later. Well, we're very happy to work with you. So <laughs> let's keep doing more things. Yes, please. So Okay. So we have lots more dice to look we at. We have so many dice. I'm so excited. So Choose. We've, we've got Army Men dice. Yes. These Army Men dice, it's a set of 12 dice. Mm-hmm. And the one side, yes, the one side has little army men and the other sides are stars instead of pips, but they're standard D6s. So I've already had a lot of risk players and Axis and Allies players, war gamers. They're like, oh, I've got to get these dice. They're so cool. And it's a pack of 12. It's six tan, six Mm -hmm. green. And when somebody asked me, well, why are they just flat green and flat tan? I had to explain the little toy army men are flat green and flat tan. Yeah, That's absolutely. That's how it works. We may do some glow in the dark ones later because glow in the dark is awesome. Because it's But the right now we're going to start with these. This will be in stores in October. Awesome. I bought glow in the dark spray paint for my railings outside of my house. I've, I've chickened <laughs> out. I haven't done it yet, but I'm very into glow in the dark everything. I get that. 
All right, and we were looking at Cthulhu. Let's look at these we Cthulhu were. dice. So in the classic Cthulhu colors, green, black, purple. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. These are 19 millimeter dice, um, d sixes. So yeah, the same size as the Halloween dice. Mm -hmm. And boom, <laughs> the one face is the Cthulhu. Just they work with any game that uses six sided dice. It's not a game. So we've got the Cthulhu on this one side. They're otherwise fairly standard. They're standard D6s. D6, but they're big. They're so the we've size. had this mold since 2012. Okay. And we made it the same time we made Ogre and a bunch of other things, but we never put this into stores. We just ran some loose ones. We'd give them out at shows. And last year, a retailer came to us and said, well, when did you release these? And we're like, we never released these. It's just a thing we made. And retailer insisted we said why not let's make you're good look at that i'm very good at rolling dice you are it's one of my talents hey i'm happy i got a six i'm proud of you Thank oh cthulhu you. is a one not a cthulhu six cthulhu is a one. Ooh. yeah scary times so you don't want to <laughs> see that guy i heard he's not very pleasant he's not very nice all right so my favorite dice here yes as you might suspect Aww. Are these beautiful rainbow munchkin dice? They have munchkin on them. So all the other dice we've looked at so far are um, acrylic dice. So they're a steel mold, plastic shoots in, the factory does their work. Rainbow dice, all rainbow dice, because it's a very complex job, are resin dice. Mm -hmm. And the way that works is they have the mold and someone pours in the first color. The layers. Lets it sit, pours in, pours in. So these are very time consuming to make and they look incredible. Um, a lot of dice, if you see them that just look weird or in some way or something special about them are typically resin dice. You can make these at home. You I... can buy resin materials. You can get into resin casting. Just be very careful. Mm -hmm. There's a Facebook group for dice making. Really? Yes. And there's people in there who have created tutorials. They've shown you how to make your own dice. That's really good to know because I literally bought resin molds this week. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. I know. There's Bebo dice I on the way. I got so much glitter too. <laughs> <laughs> so these two dice actually come from two different factories that we work with. The 19 millimeter rainbow dice are by Long Pack, who created these for us. And I love we've been them. Selling them. They're great guys. And the 16 millimeter rainbow dice is from a company named GPI who does 99% of our manufacturing for well over a decade. Wow. When we make a new Munchkin game or Ogre, it's the GPI guys. Awesome. And they both just look fabulous. They they're, look great. They're different yeah. and they're pretty and yep. they're Munchkin. So yes. these are definitely some that people should pick up. They should. And we don't have them here because it's a secret. But we do have Rainbow Illuminati dice coming. Ooh. So your Rainbow Eye on the Pyramid is on the way. I'm into that. Speaking of Illuminati dice. Yes. We have so, these. Yes. And these are, again, 19 millimeter dice. So they're nice and chunky. And these are uh, traditional American colors with the Illuminati dice. <laughs> a little I'm bit. The I'm silver's suspicious. a little bit off. but It's almost white. It's almost. The red's a little bit off. The blue, though, I love. It's gorgeous. And are these resin? No. no. These are acrylic dice. You know about the PMS, the Pantone number system. Yes. Um, it's a way to match colors, um, mostly used for printing, but also plastics use it as well. And one of the things we learned recently that I feel stupid I didn't know is we can use the metallic Pantone numbers with a lot of plastics. So really? that's how we got these metallic shimmer dice. They're very pretty. And now pretty. that I know that, expect way too many metallic dice to come from Steve Jackson Games because I'm just going to overdo it. I'm going to. And they're probably going to end up being glow-in-the-dark metallic, like, color change, scratch-and-sniff dice or something. Okay, the day that you make scratch-and-sniff dice, I am so in. I am having a discussion right now with a factory about making scented dice. Because I want to make strawberry dice that smell like strawberries. Yes. And banana dice that smell like bananas. And snozberry dice that taste like snozberries. I don't think so, but we oh, can try. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> 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 okay. The next ones we have are 
something near and dear to my heart. Uh, and you might know why. <laughs> That's Meeple Dice. I kind of like Meeple. I love Meeples as well. And in January, we are shipping Meeple Dice. And the way we're doing it is the set is eight green Meeple Dice. And there's a set that's eight orange Meeple Dice and a set that's eight blue Meeple Dice. And notice all the pips have been replaced with Meeples. Little bitty, meeple. Little bitty tiny Meeples. And then the ones are a big giant Meeple. But the idea behind doing the sets in color like that is, let's say you're somebody crazy like me. And you're like, I always play green. Well, you know what? I don't care about all you people. I'm buying a set of green meeple dice so that the next time we play a game, my dice are the right color. You're on your own. Yeah, right, right, right. So yeah. That's, and that's why we're doing the sets of meeple dice because I'm crazy and I'm going to bring my insanity to the rest of the world. But I mean, they're adorable. I got a green meeple tattoo so that when somebody tried to take green player, I could intimidatingly like, nah. look at them and scratch my chin and be like, <laughs> you're going to hand me that green meeple right now. Yep. So I will be getting the green ones and probably the purple ones because that's my backup color in case. It's I'm... a good choice. The only time I lose green players when I'm up against my daughter, in which case she spitefully takes green before I can get it. And I pick my battles. Uh, Randy Schooneman, one of the designers of Deadly Doodles and Car Wars and Super Giddy Bug Slap, um, he insists on being green in games. So when we play games together, I get there first and take green. Yep. So. Perfect. I hate to admit it, but I'm mentally about the same age as your daughter. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we already looked at these dragon dice, but let's take a look at them real quick again because they are beautiful. They and... are, and they come with the Larda Souza dice bag. So that's what you get in the set, the dice bag and the two dice, and it's fourteen ninety five retail, and it will be available in October. And it's high quality, so it is. definitely need this as a set. And it will hold a lot of dice. Over 100. Yes. And we know you have more than 100 dice, so we have more than one bag. Right. I'm going to need like seven <laughs> bags. Okay. So then we have these incredible dice over here that are transparent or a little translucent. Um, there are some translucents. Yes. These are prototype dice. Robots, uh, rocket ships, and weapons. Yeah. Yep. And... What we're going to do is ink them all white so they go better as a set. We were trying some different color combos. In my opinion, that yellow is a little greenish and ugly. It's, eh. It's the same color as my shirt, Phil. I'm not trying to say anything uh -huh. about your shirt. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the dice. <laughs> <laughs> and the silver there is not as strong as I would have liked. But the dice themselves yeah. look cool. And what we did on these dice is you will notice... They have numbers, but then there's also stars in the corners, so you can use them as uh, three-sided dice as well, because oh. there's one star, there's two stars, there's three stars. That's beautiful. And so the one and the four have one, and the two and the five have two, and the three and the six have three. I like that. So they'll that. work in either way. One of the things we often have people ask is, but how do I roll a D3? And I say, roll a D6 and divide, but... Right. Or... Roll and count stars. Yeah, that's cuter. Uh, will these be coming with any type of game? There's no game. These are just sets of dice, and it's three of the same die in the set. Right. And we also have robot meeples coming up. Oh. And we are going to make rocket meeples. I had a wonderful meeting with Long Pack a couple days ago, and they made the meeples for us. And we're going to go all in. And if everything goes according to plan... Next year, when we see it as a convention, we're going to have a capsule machine where you put quarters in and you're going to get meeples out and there will be dozens of designs inside the machine. Okay. And uh, Longpack is totally on board with us working with them to do this. The machine will even like say in association with Longpack, we're going to do this together. It's going to be awesome and so much fun. Okay. Uh, I would like to let you know that if you'd like all of my money, all you have to do is put a cat meeple in there <laughs> and you'll get all of my money. Well, there are some cat meeples on the list, inclu including a meeple of the little Katie Cook kittens. Yes. So we've got this. Goals. All right. So 
We have Texas Roll'em Dice. So the Texas Roll'em is a poker style game. This will be out in January. It's $4.95. Uh, very quick and simple. This is just a very simple mock-up. And the next time I see you, I'll have a real one and I'll teach you how to play. Perfect. But I can't wait. Very simple, silly game. And we're saving the best for last because I love dice. Yes. But these are some premium dice. Are you ready? So we've got, whoops, I messed that up. We spent all this time getting these perfect and then I immediately pulled the top off and knocked one over. <laughs> Go me. So we have Cthulhu metal dice. These yes. are hefty in a gorgeous magnetic case. If you need precision metal dice, this is the way to go. Yes, these were made by Norse Foundry. So if you need metal dice that look amazing, Norse Foundry has a lot of them. You should definitely check out their website. They did these for us. They did these sets. Oh, there's some still in there. Oh, those really do stay in there. Yeah. That's nice. And they're so shiny. I just love and them. And they're, they're hefty. They feel really good to roll. Even the little tiny ones. Yes. I love this. And this isn't the only set that you've got. No. You have the Munchkin set, which is absolutely stunning. I just, I can't get enough of this one. It wasn't us. It was all Norse Foundry. We looked at their catalog of designs and choices, worked with them on colors, and they do amazing work. And, I mean, these have a clunk to them, like a heavy weight. They feel so good. And we oh, and also... They are really, like... I don't know how to show this on camera, um, but they're really, like... Those pips are hollow. Yeah, yeah. And they look so good. Yeah, they're solid they're really and they they're, sound nice they're not clanky in your hand no they're machined dice they're cnc work mm -hmm. so just gorgeous. We, have, uh, we just made a few dozen sets of each there's not a lot of them okay. if they sell well for us we'll definitely go back talk to norse foundry make some more maybe new colors new designs cool we should totally make a meeple one we might make a kitten set because metal kitties should be a thing I mean, yeah. I, they probably have the hair for it. I mean, if that's not already a band, <laughs> it should be. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We have so many cool things to show you. This is just the start of your dice yes. addiction. Really, like, Steve Jackson Games is constantly going to be making new dice. because of our dice addiction. Right. So we have a lot of new dice coming next year. And uh, I'm going to take some of these home and play some games with them. And Absolutely. I'm very excited about this capsule meeple machine and yes. all these dice. So go ahead and check some of these out. You can find them at lo friendly local game stores yes. and on warehouse23.com. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.